Hey everyone, Colgate here, and today we're going to be talking about Magalor. Magalor is a character that honestly baffles my mind because he answers the question of what happens if you port a single player character, just a, a character from a single player video game, into a multiplayer fighting game? The answer is this. A character that isn't really balanced around having to fight other people. And why, you may ask? Well, let's, let's just do a brief explanation as to why this character baffles me. So, for one, escape options in video games are very important. Uh, such as air dodging in Smash Bros. So tell me why his air dodge is the entire stage. Uh, frame 1 Invincible can just go to the other side like nobody's business. Um, can also just decide to mix it up. But this will just get Magalore out of any sticky situation. Um, at any moment, really. And there's not much that most characters can do about it. And you may think, well, is that his only mobility option? Well, no, because he also can just drill into you um, with his head. And this hurts, um, mostly because this itself doesn't hurt, but he can do combos off of it. It also hits from behind, even though it's not his head for some reason. So don't, don't ask questions, just accept Magalore is Magalore. Now, here's the thing. You may think, okay, well, that, that sounds pretty cool, right? That sounds that sounds fun. Um, you know, he, he's got a teleport, he can, he can dash, he got mobility. Mobility's fun. Um, we'll talk about that later. Don't you worry about what that was. So, this spike right here um, will not only hit you up so that Magalore can continue fighting you, uh, but he can also just do it twice. If he does it under a platform, this is this is uh, something that shuts down some characters because they just can't really interact. Um, he can also charge it. You don't often do that, but like you can. Um, it's a little silly because it's not going to come up, but this happens because that's a, that's a thing he could that's a thing he could do. Um, just the the, the entire the, the the entire stage is his playground. He just doesn't care. Um, He's got this little ball of, of goodness, which is the main way he zones people out. Um, it does lose to attacks, um, but he can charge it a little bit to make it not lose to attacks. And if he charges it a whole bunch, it becomes a flaming inferno. Normally, he just does this, but the second one does come up often. Uh, but all of that, everything I've described, the teleport, the dash, the... Um, the little ball of, of goodness, all of that is just a part of this character. Because what ties it all together is this. Welcome to Gem Apple. Gem Apple is a move that I don't know how it got past the development stage, um, just as it is. Because here's the thing, not only does it have a hitbox when it's coming down uh, and exploding, uh, it's a frame one explosion. So there's nothing you can really like do about it. He, he just decides to pop it whenever. Um, also, it is it is gigantic. Um, you see the this space over here where it's like the, the explosion really isn't there. That hits. Um, the hitbox is gigantic. And again, still frame one and you may think okay well that's that's cool and all he can he can zone and stuff you know it's it's all it's all chilling um but he could combo off of it he could just he could just straight up decide to to do this and then throw the apple do it again explode the apple hit you again do this um and it just turns into this thing where you get caught into the into the tornado of magalore and I, I know I said in my last video that a lot of characters in this game are crazy and wild and bananas. But this character is very crazy, very wild, and very bananas. There's also a lot of technology you can do. 
just like special things that people have figured out um, over time that like you can do like reverse apple tosses to, to hit people it's just it's a lot um, so the character is not super easy to master but it's it's pretty simple to just like use on a on a basic level but as you can see this like none of this is things that you expect to see from like a <laughs> a fighting game character right where you have to play with other people um because you can just do this and like start camping and if they try to jump over the apple you just hit them just just whoop. and if they actually get close to you somehow you just whoop bye bye um yeah that's it that's that's my rant i think for whatever it's worth um i know i click beta the thumbnail saying like oh there's like a banned symbol or whatever. he's not he's not banned i don't think he should be banned for for the record but it is very interesting to me that this character as is exists in a fighting game um because he's just not a uh he's not a character designed for a fighting game they just kind of decided that you know what we'll just we'll just get him in there anyway why not um he does have some bad moves like this um hold on sword that's it that's the bad move um and even that has some application if they are like above you but yeah, that's just that's Magalore in a nutshell. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my little TED talk here about this character. Um, do not let this character dissuade you from trying out Kirby Fighters 2. I still think it's a great game. But oh boy, is Magalore something. Uh, but anyways, that's it for me. Thank everyone for watching and have a good one.